Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the JLB Racing 21101, the 1 to 10 scale four wheel drive off road truggy. Now this baby here comes in two different versions, 120 amp ESC version and the 80 amp ESC version. We have the 120 amp Hobby Wing branded ESC version here today. Now it's supposed to go about 80 kilometers per hour in its maximum speed guys uh, that equals to about 49 to 50 miles per hour on this baby here and check this out it's got double wheeled wheelie bars yeah that is fantastic serves as a nice carrying handle as well and thank god it does have these wheelie bars you will see in the video that this baby here loves to do wheelies and as you can see I got dirt on it. I got some scrapes on it because I've already uh, excursioned with it for the last couple of days testing it out and I'm happy to report that it is still intact. Everything is still in one piece. Nothing is broken. Just some battle scars, just some dirt and some minor scratches on the canopy is all I have to report. So it is a fantastic build and a very, very strong four-wheel drive unit all right so let's take the canopy off and check it out there you go guys there's some scratches right on top of the canopy there uh, just some minor scratches but now the showroom finish is forever gone but it is still intact so that's a canopy for you still in one piece now take a look at the inside of the RC vehicle there's a bunch of metal pieces to be had some aluminum pieces the uh, end caps of the shock absorbers uh, there's a frame reinforcement that is metal as well so very high quality build on this JLB racing RC monster truggy here now let's go over some of the uh, parts over here here's the motor it is a brushless motor it is the 3670 2500 kV brushless motors and there is the hobby wing 120 amp ESC right here and there you have the receiver and the receiver is a fly sky receiver and it has three channels and right underneath of it is the steering servo and it's got a pretty high torque steering servo it is uh, rated 15 kilograms uh, so fantastic servo and it's got these all-terrain tires guys and it, ha it has some kind of a filler inside it has some foamy material inside so it is nice and soft very grippy so very nice nice and cushiony uh, it has a 4000 milliamp 11.1 volt 30c battery which I have here uh, it gives you a runtime of approximately about 20 minutes or so and this battery has more than enough power guys is a three cell battery I'm going to be surprised to see what it can do with the four cell battery so uh, yeah the three cell battery was more than powerful enough here and it also comes with in the box a balance charger um, it's got the 2S and the 3S balance port and plug in the power cord in there. Yeah, it only comes with the uh, Euro plug. So you need a little conversion plug for it to plug into the US. And here's some documentations that come with it as well. Uh, gives you a little spec sheet. There you go. And also you got the instruction manual. So that goes through all of the functions for you. And this one also gives you the instructions on the remote control. The remote control is the MT305. So there you go. There's some diagrams to show you what it can do and to bind and stuff like that. So a fantastic little addendum to the instruction manual because the instruction manual in itself has documentation in it with a different remote control. So that's why they put a addendum in the instruction manual as well. And the remote control is this baby right here. It is the MT305, the 2.4 gigahertz remote control. And is your standard pistol grip RC car remote control with the steering right here and the throttle and the reversed action switch right here. There's a little switch on the side. This will be the 
channel 3 activation switch on the receiver. The receiver has an empty channel there. And all of the controls are inside of this flip uh, cover right here. And some of the reverse channels are right on the top, channel 1 and channel 2. So channel 1 will be the steering and the channel 2 would be the throttle. And there's some uh, channel 2 uh, endpoint adjustment uh, knobs right here, um, low and high, so that is nice. And this one right here, it is the steering uh, travel adjustment. And here is the uh, fine tuning for the trim buttons for the throttle here and the trim buttons for the steering right here. There's a bind button and a power on indicator light right here and the on and off switch right on the bottom here. So very nice remote control, minimalistic look here. Uh, but the thing is, it does not have an antenna on the outside. It doesn't have an external antenna. So the antenna uh, is on the inside. So when I did my little run, uh, you will see that I, lo I do lose uh, control uh, within a uh, pretty fair amount of distance, maybe around uh, within the 100 meter distance, I do lose control, but I needed to raise my hand up with the remote control and I did regain control of it. So when it goes out of line of sight, like if there's a hill or something like that on a terrain, yeah, you will uh, fade out in your uh, control ability. So you need to stand in an area or situate yourself in an area that is slightly higher ground. Okay, so uh, like I said, I've taken this baby out for the last couple of days on a uh, excursion. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of that footage. All right, let's check it out. Got my run cam HD on the top of the canopy. See some red LED lights in the back, some clear LED lights in the front. It's got a lot of power. Nice. Nice. Oh, Papa Willie. Oh, that thing's a beast. <laughs> All right, good handling. Let's go into grass. <laughs> nice, it doesn't flip over, so thank God. Let's go in the grass. Lots of power on this baby here. Oh yeah. I'll pop a willy downhill. <laughs> you see the red LED lights? Man, this thing is just going nuts. Awesome. Wow. Okay, got to get used to this Papa Willy thing. Ah, flipped over. Yeah, too much traction. Not bad. All right, still recording. Let me check out the lens. Okay, make sure we're recording some good stuff. All the cutter pins are on. Yep. All right. <laughs> that thing is a beast. Man, it just willies like on demand. Wow. That is some nice power. <laughs> nice.
No wonder they put you willy bars on this thing. <laughs> That's a beast. Nice. Gotta go somewhere I can do some jumping. Smooth power, man. You know the power is there and this thing is so smooth. Wow. It's running on two wheels just about. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. <laughs> like a sustained pull pop of willy. <laughs> it doesn't have much range though. I lost a little bit of range over there. I had to lift up my uh, remote control a little bit. Okay, there we go. It's like hydroplaning on grass. <laughs> Wow, nice, nice. Oh yeah, it's got lots of speed, man. <laughs> I think this is the fastest RC car I've gotten so far. Nice, awesome, awesome. 20 minutes of drive time, huh? Nice. I'm gonna have to recharge the battery and take it to the dirt mound another day because I'm just here at the park the city park here -hoo -hoo. yeah baby nice <laughs> that thing is a beast let me see if I can do a little bit of jump right here hopefully I don't mess it up here's a little hill and it's gonna come up and it's gonna go over this side hopefully I can catch some of that Action and there's a hill over there too. So, all right, let's go check it out right here. Oh, see, I'm gonna hit that tree. Okay, let's see what I can muster up right here with this little hill. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> it done flipped over. <laughs> Head over heels. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Too much control. Or too much power, not enough control. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn how to stop its wheelieing by braking. Let's see. There is a trick to it, so you're gonna have to suddenly hit the brakes as soon as it goes up. Holy cow! Damn! Just unbelievable. Too much power. Still recording. Yep, yeah, it can take a beating. Let me try that again here. Yeah, like, see, there's a dead spot. See, when I'm behind this hill with the remote control and I hit the throttle, it does not respond. I'm hitting the throttle, but it does not respond. You have to have like a line of sight because the antenna is inside. It's an internal antenna. That is too bad. Too bad I can't stick it out. Maybe put a booster on it, give it more range. That would be awesome here. You know what? That little hill is not going to work. This thing needs like a big old jumping type of hill. Wow. It's just going to pop a wheelie right over it. So, All right. That is the grass drive. Okay. Let's go on the flat ground. Let's see the range on this thing. See, I still got control. I still got control because I got line of sight. Yeah, that's pretty good control there. Still got line of sight control. And to the opposite side of the field, no problem. Yeah, still got line of sight control. 
So as long as you got a good line of sight, you stay on high grounds, this thing will give you lots of distance here. Yeah, that's a pretty good distance right there. And that's pretty much close to 100 meters there. See, I lost control there a little bit. No, nope, I still got control. It just ran into a bump. And see, now I lost control. So that's about 100, 100 meters, maybe a tiny bit more. Let me see if I can get closer to it. Let's see when it responds. So, yeah, see, it loses control there. Now I got control. I can bring it back. So this thing doesn't have too much control. So that is the controllability here. So if you want to put a FPV camera on this thing and whatnot, you're going to kind of have to beef up the, uh, the remote control distance, especially with this uh, pistol grip remote control that doesn't have a antenna that is external. So you're going to have to kind of open this up, pull that antenna out somehow, and maybe give it a little hand, put a little external antenna. But other than that, this thing is like a monster. It's a beast. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I was like, what is our Papa Willy wheels for? And that is what it's for. So it doesn't flip over every time you hit that throttle. Oh my God. It just went the uh, 360. 720 <laughs> upside down so the camera probably came off okay let's go retrieve it and yes i was able to find that run cam hd it wasn't in the spot where i thought it was it was somewhere else it fell off before uh, i did that little 360 or that 720 upside down so i was fortunate enough to retrieve it as you saw just right now of all of the footage that was captured on the run cam hd now what i forgot to show you is the bottom of this rc vehicle here and it's got this nice aluminum plate on the bottom uh the frame itself so that's a really really nice addition and as you can see i did scrape it up somewhat and it all got scraped up on the second day when i took it to the river bed uh in the desert so uh, i'm going to leave you now with some footage of that so thank you so much for watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time
Yeah.